Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the tech specialists here at Warmzilla. Before we start, you can get a new boiler, EV charger, or smart home technology with installation using the links down below. Please like and subscribe for more helpful videos. Does your boiler pressure keep rising? Is your boiler pressure high? Do you sometimes feel like the world is a scary place? Well, some scary stuff you can't do anything about, like politicians or clowns, but some stuff you can, like boiler pressure being too high. If your needle is in the scary red section of the pressure gauge on the front of your boiler, then you're probably wondering why it's happening and how to get it back into the nice, safe green section of optimal pressure. So what is my boiler pressure meant to be, you may be asking. The sweet spot for your boiler pressure is 1.5 bar. Most boiler manufacturers recommend an optimal pressure of between 1 and 1.5 bar, uh, but for those of you with OCD like myself, you'll want to the needle spot to be on the 1.5 bar perfectly. For the rest of you, as long as it's within the working range, you won't be having a problem. So should my boiler pressure rise when it's on? If your boiler pressure is in the normal range when there is no heating demand, but you've noticed the pressure increases when you've turned your heating on, don't worry, this is completely normal. A boiler's pressure will increase as it heats up and drops if it's turned off. It's only a small change in pressure, but it does fluctuate. The pressure increases as you demand heating due to water expansion throughout your system. The first cause could be the heating system has been overfilled. Overfilling your central heating system is the most common cause of high pressure. It occurs when you repressurize your system by turning the valves on the filling link. If you leave the filling loop valve open for too long, it will draw too much water into the system, creating a overly pressurized system. The fix to this, uh, fix one, could be removing the water from the system is the easiest fix possible. You'll need a bleed key which connects to the radiator, a bucket, and an old towel. Open the bleed vent valve at the top of the radiator until the water releases. This will slowly decrease your boiler pressure. What you can do next is you can check your filling link. The second potential cause is a filling link valve that hasn't been closed properly or is faulty and passing water. If you've recently repressurized your system by topping up the water by opening the filling loop valve, then the valve may not have been fully closed. You can use fix one as we talked about earlier, or you can replace the filling link valve. Your combi boiler will have an expansion vessel inside. This part is responsible for keeping the pressure consistent and preventing sudden changes to your boiler's pressure. If this fails or requires attention, then you cannot fix this yourself. So for this one, you will need to get a gas safe professional to take a look and diagnose the problem. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today and have a fantastic day.